in today's video, I am going to show you guys a secret adjustment slash trick slash tip slash enhancement to make your game better. By the end of today's video, you're gonna automatically be better at Madden 21 without even touching the controller. Stick with me through this and understand what I'm telling you and I guarantee you need to start. You You know what, it's not even a, hey man, you should try this out. No, 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 that's not how we do it over here, okay? Now, I have an 84 overall butt team. There's mutt YouTubers, right, that put aside $2,000 $2, to get an 88 overall. All right, now, not over here, bro, okay? We had to mow like a couple yards to get the money together to try to get an 84 overall team. All right, I had to wash some cars, man. We had to do a little bikini wash, things like that. All right, that's how we get down over here in the hood. Anyway, make sure you drop a like. Let's try to get this video right here to 2.5 million likes. It starts with you. You guys are probably like, man, that's impossible. Nah, man, if you believe it's possible, but it starts with you. All right, so let's get into this. What I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you guys how to shut down tight flex using this, <laughs> this strategy, all right? I've never lost to someone using tight flex because of what I'm about to show you. Okay, so what is it? It's in coaching adjustments, all right? Now, here you have zone drops. Now, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. All right, hey, Wolf, well, I know about zone drops. Okay, check this out, all right? Without using curl flats, I'm gonna show you a play and I'm gonna run the meta defense, all right? I'm just gonna show you the play. I'm gonna run the meta uh, defense, which is, it's not, it's, it's in dollar, right? Cover one robber press and then tight flex. Now what's cool about tight flex is, you see these routes on the outside, you want your fastest wide receivers uh, to, to practice. So if you're practicing, look at your wide receivers as far as uh, your depth chart goes. And I had to go into a real game so you guys can actually see the adjustments. You can't do this in practice mode. So speed, we got Woods and we got Jefferson. Uh, those guys are the two fastest. So that's who you you want running your crossing routes. Jefferson, was it, wait, <laughs> was it Jefferson and Woods, bro? Cause I'm already lost, I forgot, man, all right? Probably got Alzheimer's, bro, okay? Too many videos, too many personnel, too many people on in the NFL. It's Jefferson and Woods, Jesus. Good Lord, right? All right, so in this play right here from the tight flex, that's who we want in this position. We got Cup here. It's not who we want there. Uh, let's see who we got here. That's not who we want there either. So we got Woods on the outside. We're gonna put Webster, okay? And then let's see what we did here. We're gonna put Woods here, and then we're gonna put Jefferson on the outside. Now, why am I doing this? Because of the route that we're looking for. You see like technically double crossing routes in the PA post shot? Now, I'm gonna set up the play the way you would do it. Press, purple, purple, okay? Now, without using zone drops, if this guy motions Jefferson out here, and, and if he motion, look, I don't know if you can motion snap out of uh, tight flex. Let me go ahead and cancel play action and try it. Okay, let's just try it. Yeah, you can. And then you wait over here, right? Look at the purple. Boom, that's a TD. Now, each offensive formation, stick with me, homie. You're gonna have to start remembering formations, man, okay? You're just gonna have to start. That's just the way it is, man. Okay, I'm gonna call timeout because the... Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me call timeout because the clock's still going. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I ran out of bounds. Okay, so what's gonna happen is your opponent's gonna flip the play on the next one. This is where zone drops, and I use tight flex because it's easy to lock down and it, sh it shows the significance of what I'm about to show you. So right here, coaching adjustments, we come over here to the curl flats, okay, right here, and we're gonna drop it to 30. All right, so you see that deep post? This is gonna work for Trey Y Flex as well. So if someone's running crossers on you, drop it to 30, all right? And then we're gonna run the same play, same setups, okay? And then you're gonna see who do I got on the outside, bro? I got Webster, man. Well, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about him getting stuck on Matt Devens because they're going to lock this guy down. They're going to clamp him from the jump. Pay attention to the purple on the right side, which is my man, Sorensen. Man, Sorensen. You guys don't like Sorensen. A lot of people be telling me stuff about Sorensen, bro. Here. Motion snap. Now let's try to throw this deep, right? 
You, okay, you see Sorensen in the back. He's 30 yards deep. Now, does he need to be that far? Probably not. So what we're going to do is we're gonna just going to take the ball, okay? Let's just take the ball. I'm showing you guys the significance of where he's at. Now you see, okay, I'm going to have to adjust, bro. You know what I mean? I'm going to have to adjust. Where do I really want these, right? I'm going to run backwards. I'm going to run backwards. Do you need them at 30 yards? Depends on the route. If they hit you one time deeper than 20, 25, then you change it to 30. However, right here with tight flex, you could probably drop it to 25. Let's say 25, okay? And then you just practice. You lab these up, okay? So same play. And put someone faster than Sorensen in there, bro, okay? Because he doesn't react to nothing. So we lowered it. Now you guys get to see it lowered and see what happens. Okay, we're looking for the B route this time. He's going right to left. I didn't flip the play. Motion snap. Okay, well, you guys see what's going on. You see the curl flat waiting over there for that route. He's over there waiting, waiting for that route. It's third and 47. Now, what a lot of people like to do is they'll bring these guys in. So don't be afraid. If you're going to be running meta defenses, bring these guys in. Don't just leave them back there. I never leave them back there. Sometimes I do depending. Here we go again. Boom. Tries to throw the crosser. Boom. Someone right there because we changed it. 25. 25 is the sweet spot for tight flex. Now you're saying, whoa, bro, he's he's got the he's got the drags because I gotta I gotta guard. You're gonna have to use her the opposite side. All right, that's just how you're gonna do it. So then how are we gonna clamp that down? It's simple, man. All right. Different variations. It's gonna be different. I'm giving you guys the base setup. So what I'm gonna do is curl, curl, okay? And then what I'll probably do here is I'll put Thompson on a hard flat so right stick okay if he's on the right side of the field i'm hard flatting this way and then you can go into your coaching adjustments and set this to zero i should have did it man you know what matter of fact that's what we're gonna do okay so now we can go to flats clouds hards and let's see how they play okay so over here back in coaching adjustments let's go to the uh where are we at top is it flats right here we're gonna set it to zero and then we're gonna leave curl flats at 25 and we're run the same play just trying to get this get this through to you guys so you guys can understand it, all right? My bad if it's like, you know, I'm not really into doing this and playing out. So we drop curls here. You can you can do whatever you want with Sorensen. Probably put him in a purple as well. Or you can leave him in a hook curl. Or you can put him on a blue. You can put him on an inside. You can put him on a half. Whatever you want to do with this guy. It depends on what your opponent's doing. This is like I will adjust him according to, to what I see. And then Thompson, I can put him on a hard flat. So if he tries to throw... You'll see, okay? I want you to pay attention to the right side of the field. We're going to run this. I'm going to go ahead and double team this guy, bro. You know what? Matter of fact, so you guys can see all this stuff going, I'm going to put these guys in spies just so we can see, okay? Let's just see it. See it in action. We're going to motion snap Jefferson so they can't press him, right? And it's going to be harder for them to keep up. And then you see the drag going right to left. Now, my user technically is going to follow 17, so that's what I'm looking for. So we snap, pay attention to the left side of the field. Snap the ball. Guy's waiting for the drag route. The guy's waiting for the deep post. Boom. And it's a pick. So you see what the coaching adjustments do. Now that's not it. All right. There's one more. Now that I'm the Chiefs, I'm going to show you guys. Okay, we're just going to run like cover three. I'm going to show you the significance of zoning someone. So let's say your opponent wants to run to the left a lot. Like all you see is, man, he just keeps running to the left. Let's just go ahead and pick uh, cover three. All right. And well, actually, matter of fact, here in your coaching adjustments, you can change your hooks to zero. Now, what's that going to do? Well, they're going to play coverage and they're going to sit lower than what they would normally. So instead of backing up into a hook, he'll actually stay low. So it's kind of like a QB spy, but he still kind of plays cover. You'll see. Okay, so zone drop hooks zero. All right, and then we're going to run. Let's just say cover three so you guys can see see it in action. So let's say he wants to run to left, and all he's doing, man, he's running to the left. So cover three sky, okay? And this is what I recommend you do. You don't want both hook zones doing the same thing. So let's say uh, he's running Trey Y flex, crossers, right? Okay, so on defense, you identify who your yellows are. You got two hook curls. They're going to do the exact same thing. You don't want that. So take this take this guy, 
and like man him up or be oh you know what matter of fact you're probably gonna have to be your user this is gonna be your user right here right so let's just put him on tyree kill and then i'm gonna zone these guys out so let's just get these guys out of the equation so you, so the field opens up you know what i'm saying let's get them out of the equation matter of fact okay well that's not working uh let's go ahead and put vertical uh let's just put them in spies it's just i don't want them in the way man so you guys can actually see it but it, it, it's kind of weird how anyway all right so we're gonna be paying attention to kaiser right here okay so these guys out of the way let's get this guy out of the way let's just get everybody out of the way okay so you can see the significance of what's happening and then let's get this guy out of the way pay attention to the hook curl for mobile qb if you set him this guy my man actually ran back i should just stayed on him all right cancel the play action let's get everybody out of the way hook curl so you face a mobile qb you set a hook curl to zero on your coaching adjustments right boom watch what he does plays coverage and then he just sits there he's not even looking but you see what i'm saying he's actually there minus the spy you're not gonna have that many spies right man that's what i'm saying bro i should have put them in like verticals or something man that kind of that kind of that kind of you know what let's do it with uh with my man uh let's go to coaching adjustments on this side because we did give the ball away and let's put zero here okay and then we'll run uh cover three again let's do cover three and then here now my man uh golf can't can't really run okay but let's assume he wants to run left okay so these guys get him out of the way oh no well look at the hook curl sitting low you see him sitting low once it gets to a certain point he attacks all right so pay attention level corners cover three sky i'm gonna leave them both in hook curls watch what the two hook curls do you see the if you're new to mad and pay attention to the hook curls in the middle of the field some people are gonna like the baseline i don't know why he's not baseline baseline so you get him in the middle now you got both hook curls looking left and right however you're gonna be the user on one you're gonna leave the hook curl on the side you think the quarterback's gonna run right so let's just block the running back and then i'm gonna take off to the right watch the hook curl to the right he's actually waiting this man this guy's you see how they're waiting right there they sit low in their hook curls so that's all i wanted to show you man it's, it's not working out the way i wanted to man so you're just gonna have to understand it all right bros i'm sorry i apologize so use your curl flat adjustments know how to lock stuff down you need to drop them back do it because you're gonna get burned over the top if you're trying to make certain adjustments and i just showed you from a man perspective you can still do it in zone so in cover three cover two you can do it all within zones change them how you want so if there's a certain route beating you on the edge or whatever change the cloud back the cloud up or back the curl flat up if they're hitting you lower then lower it man all right default is the base where they would normally normally go and then lowering it brings them down raising it takes them further back love you guys man peace